Today's solar eclipse won't appear again until 2046. 12 News journalist Joe Dana is in a pretty good position to watch it all happen. Good morning, Joe. How's it looking out there? Hey, Rachel. Uh, great. We're up in Cayenta in northeastern Arizona on the Navajo Reservation. This is a moment for the southwestern United States to have its moment for the eclipse. You know, an eclipse itself is not necessarily uncommon, but depending on where you are in the world, it can be a once in a lifetime opportunity. This is an annular eclipse, which means ring-like in Greek. So it'll have a, a ring around it as opposed to a full solar eclipse. Back in 2017, you may remember there was all that attention around uh, the eclipse that crossed through the United States. The reason that was so special, so unique, is because it was going from one coast all the way to the other. And the path of totality passed through the United States. That hadn't happened for 99 years. And again, that was a total eclipse. The one we were expecting today, the annular, will have that ring of fire that you've probably heard about or already seen images of. We're expecting a lot of people to descend on small towns out here like uh, Mexican Hat in Durango, Colorado, down in Albuquerque, here in Cayenta, uh, Window Rock and others. So how many? That's one of the big questions. Over the next couple of hours, we're expecting to start to see crowds and we'll make sure to talk with them and bring the story to you. We'll be online throughout the morning at 12news.com. You can also find some coverage on my Twitter and Facebook accounts. We are prepared, Rachel. We've got uh, our Eclipse glasses. Uh, if you're in the Phoenix area and you haven't obtained these, there are ways to also see the Eclipse down on the ground. Uh, you'll want to Google that. Another tool we have here, we have a special lens for our camera. This is an incredibly dark lens that will be on a special camera we have so that we'll be able to get a really good image of it as well. So we are ready. We're expecting clear skies, fingers crossed that that stays that way. I don't see just a couple clouds, so we should be all right. Um, and we're ready to go, Rachel. Well, we are so excited. A good reminder, do not look at it with the naked eye. You have to have those cool glasses. So important, even your camera lens, they say don't look through your phone camera.